Hey guys, it's Sam Lawson by the way, and today we're looking at the thank you for playing our game achievement on Untitled Goose Game. Not exactly a super difficult achievement to do, but it just takes a little bit of time. Now I'm no expert at this game, I find the controls are very difficult at times. I didn't realise the difficulty of this achievement at first, so I just thought that I could walk everywhere and every character was going to continue what they would normally do. The second you grab that bell, all the villagers are on high alert, so they're all looking for you, they're all looking for the bell, so they're not going to be doing their norm anymore. So I kind of found the best thing to do was to utilise your hiding spots again. Because everyone's out looking for the bell anyway, you might as well make as much noise as possible and then just hide when you can, and then just gap it the second you can. I originally thought that when they stole the bell they would just drop it on the ground because all of a sudden that bartender lady didn't have the bell anymore but what I didn't actually notice at the time until afterwards was that the other lady had actually taken it from her to put it on the pub table. I definitely think this pub area is probably the hardest part just because there's so many characters there's not that many hiding spots. So as I kind of discovered, taking the bell, then running around with it, getting everyone to attract to one edge of the table and then sprinting past them was the good way to do it. Unfortunately again at this point when I ran out of the pub, I wasn't able to get far enough because I got stuck on a bunch of rocks that made me stop and someone grabbed the bell off me. If you're quick enough, you can actually run up to the characters and steal the bow back off them before they manage to put the bow back onto the table. So they actually stop and look around for a second before they realise the bow has been stolen back from them. While you're running between areas, characters might chase you for a little while. If they do manage to steal it from you, which is unlikely because they tend to go back to their old area, you can easily just snatch it back from their hands, which stuns them for one or two seconds. and make an absolute run for it. I found the back garden is probably the easiest area to do just because there's only two characters you have to worry about. Considering this was my first time doing it, I didn't think I did too bad. I originally thought that I could drop the bell, take the drawers out, get the ramp sorted first before I had to take the bell, but unfortunately that didn't happen. The second you drop it, it makes a sound and attracts the characters. Then I discovered the hole in the fence wasn't there either, so um, I just kind of guessed that the gate was open down south. The good thing is that the second you run out of the man's garden, he doesn't want to chase you anymore because he's obviously a lazy bugger. And doesn't care about his town bell the same as everyone else. I found straight away the easiest thing to get past the high street sales area was to just keep stealing the bow back from the salesperson. It took a little bit of time but you only have to worry about one character up to the point where the boy is ha hanging around the puddle but he's so scared of you that he just runs off anyway. With 
the first garden. I just found once again just running past him pretty much. Running into the water because he's not really going to chase you that far. The poor gardener doesn't actually like getting his feet wet very much so running into that lake seems like the best bet to get away from him quickly. Simply make your way back to the start where there's a little pit where all these bells are and congratulations once you have the achievement. Well done, you have beat the game. <laughs>